your common questions of ostrich boots? Well, there's six of them here, so let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya, and then I'll be on my way. I was able to get Garrett Carter of cartersboots.com. Huge shout out to cartersboots.com. They got boots, they got conditioners, they do repair work right there in Bozeman, Montana. Small family owned shop, you gotta love it. And he was kind enough to get on a Zoom call with me and answer some of these questions here that you guys have and that I have too about ostrich boots. Are ostrich boots durable? Let's start there and see what Garrett Carter has to say. All right, everybody, I'm here with Garrett Carter of cartersboots.com. Garrett, thanks for taking the time uh, with me today to answer some common questions about ostrich boots. Absolutely. Always excited to talk about them. Yeah. Now, you do a lot of work with ostrich boots on a regular basis, right? Being there in Montana? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I see them all, all the time. Coming through, resoling them, rehealing them, fix them all up. Nice. Yep. So um, I'm pumped to ask you some of these common questions that uh, I found and that the community has asked. So we got an expert in the house. I'm going to start with question number one. Are ostrich boots durable? Yes. The It's a dry desert bird. It is extremely durable for how thin the skin is. It's woven in a certain way that um, makes it super strong, like elephant, super, super, super strong stuff. And it's just the way that it is. The same with buffalo. Buffalo is super strong. And it's how the hide of the animal like forms around it to give it its durability. Ostrich is similar strength to elephant and buffalo. Wow. Ostrich is strong stuff, guys. Even though it's really thin, it's super strong. It's got some of the highest tensile strength of any other leather. Now, it might not be able to uh, withstand some barbed wire punctures like, I don't know, elephant or buffalo can do, but it is still really durable stuff considering how thin and supple it is. Ostrich is just like magical stuff. Now that we know that they're really durable, can they stretch? About eight and a half percent of you guys asked, can ostrich boots stretch at all? So let's see what Garrett Carter has to say about that. Can they stretch? Like are ostrich boots uh, known for breaking in and stretching around a foot and breaking in to be even more comfortable than what they are, you know, right when you put them on? Yeah, absolutely. So like an ostrich skin is super soft already but then once it breaks in it, it molds your foot it's just like a normal leather after that just like with other le leathers you don't want it to um be too tight when you first try it on right because then it's just going to be uncomfortable right you want it to be snug you don't want it to be overly tight where your foot's losing any blood or anything like that good snug fits always the best yeah i hate when that happens that's no fun yeah like when you get your instep a little too tight and then it's just cutting off circulation to your foot. Oh, it's the worst, man. Don't even get me started. <laughs> so yes, ostrich can stretch just like any other leathers out there uh, for the most part. I mean, there are some that are more unforgiving than others, but ostrich will stretch. But remember, I feel like a lot of people ask this question because they get their boots too small and they're wondering if ostrich will ever stretch to become comfortable. Your boots should fit snug, not super tight, just like Garrett said. Not super, super tight where you're losing, you know, circulation in your foot. You want to make sure that that boot fits snug and comfortable from the get-go, and then it will just get more and more comfortable. It'll just get more and more butter soft as you wear it and as it breaks in and stretches a little bit more. But remember, you got to get the right fit first. With that, some folks have a question about how ostrich boots are made. Around 10% of you have a question about uh, how ostrich boots are made. Is it any different? Let's see what Garrett has to say about that. 
How are ostrich boots made? Is it any different than any other boot? Uh, the ostrich boots, nope, they're just made exactly the same way. So they source the leather and then they're just built and constructed the same way. There's nothing special that you have to do with them. Just wet them down, have all the, um, the chemicals and everything inside the leather that they already do for boot making. And it's just the same process, just building it with a different skin. So they're made exactly the same. No difference, it's just different leather. I only know of one leather where bootmakers have to change their process slightly and that's Stingray. Stingray is really, really hard, right? So they have to cut it with actual scissors. They, they have to use special methods to sew it because it will break needles. Uh, that is the only leather that I know of that I've heard takes a different process from any other leather. But ostrich boots made exactly the same as every other boot out there for the most part. If they're made exactly the same though, why are they so expensive, right? About 11%, just over 11% of you are wondering why are ostrich boots so expensive? I mean, this this boot right here, this is coming in at around $540 if you use my code, Jeremiah Craig at cartersboots.com and ostrich boots, at least the full quill ostrich boots, right? They're a little bit more expensive uh, than cowhide or smooth ostrich, right? Uh, they usually go between 300 and uh, 700 depending on the brand and who's making them but why why are ostrich boots so expensive do you have any insights there that's a pretty common question so you have smooth ostrich and full quill ostrich and smooth ostrich is the majority of the ostrich it's much much easier to come by just because there's more full quill takes the time you got to pull the quills out and everything and then there's less of it so it makes it more expensive. It's, it's a rarity thing, not a durability or quality thing. Because smooth ostrich is just as tough as full quill ostrich. It's just much harder to get the, the full quill ostrich. Lots of paperwork involved too. Yeah, pencil pushers gotta, gotta do their job there. <laughs> it all adds up. So not only do they have to do paperwork for importing it, uh, across countries and you know it's it is an exotic so it does have exotic paperwork which costs a little bit extra money to get into the country but not only that the ostrich skin like Garrett said only has like full quills in the middle and then it's smooth ostrich on the outsides and then you also have the ostrich leg leather too but when you see an ostrich leather spread out across the table uh, there won't be as much full quills as there is the smooth ostrich. So that's why they're so expensive. And plus the leather is just beautiful. So it's, it's the rarity, the supply and demand of it all, that increases the price a little bit. So that's uh, just economics for you. And with an increased price, it might lead some folks to wonder, when is a good time to wear ostrich boots, right? You got 16 point, almost 17 percent of you are wondering when can i wear ostrich boots like is it okay to work in ostrich boots is it only a dress boot if it is so durable then why can't i work in it when is a good time to wear ostrich boots is it specifically just for like casual dressy occasions or can you wear ostrich boots while working too oh i've seen bull riders wear ostrich they're hard on their boots and so I've seen them wear out full quill ostrich for their riding and roping boots. So it can hold up to that, but it's more seen as a dress skin than anything. So you'll, a lot of times you'll see it on dress boots just because of that fact that it's more seen as a dress skin because it's harder to get, it's rare, it's gonna be, but it's still durable. So I've seen people use the full quill ostrich for ride, riding. It's, it can do both. It's a great skin for that. No doubt. And when you spend a little bit more money, usually <laughs> most people are going to be a little bit more careful because they want that boot to last as long as possible. So they get the most return on investment. Oh, absolutely. I know that my like my elephant boots, they're as durable as, as it can get, but they're they're babied. They're they're worn to date nights and 
going out on the town. They're not war worn going out and working or anything like that. Or maybe standing in the shop all day, but that's about it. Right? When you spend that much, you don't want to mess them up. I mean, insane old death guy right here in the live chat is saying, wouldn't want to work construction in them, right? Now, they might be able to handle that. You might be able to get an ostrich boot with a steel toe, but why? <laughs> Just because you like the leather at that point, you might as well go smooth ostrich instead of, you know, using the full quills. But either way, it's awesome for whatever you want to do. You might want to, you know, be a little bit easy on them so that you get the most return on investment. Uh, but the ostrich leather is ready for what you're ready for. And that's what I love about it. That's what I love about ostrich leather. Um, such a good, such a good versatile leather. Plus it's super soft out of the box. Man, it already feels broken in and then it just keeps getting better after that, right? But if you do wear it in work conditions, you might be wondering, can you get it wet? I mean, almost a quarter of you did. This is the biggest question, along with the question in this little slice over here, a lot of people are asking about conditioning ostrich boots. What do you do to condition them? And will conditioners darken ostrich boot? And that's what we sort of run into in this segment here with Garrett. I personally have a question about because I've noticed that sometimes maybe my ostrich boots stain a little bit easier than some of my other leathers when they get wet how much can they get wet so just like any other leather the you're going to get water stains on them if you let them soak in water and then dry if you're walking through water with salt if you're in montana where you they salt the sidewalks and stuff like that you can get salt stains on them um darker boots obviously you're not going to have that problem as much as lighter boots but even a lighter cowhide you'll get water stains if you're trudging through water all the time and you get those water marks. So conditioning them and, and making sure that they dry evenly is, is a huge factor. Any leather can be wet and then dry totally fine at, to a certain extent. Obviously, if you oversaturate them in water, you're going to get water marks. It's going to happen. Just a good desalter if you got salt and then a good conditioner is great, which will help with that and, and kind of regulate that because it'll also help waterproof the boot. So like if you have a waterproof spray on it, like an all weather shield, that's probably the best because then it'll wick away the water off the top of the boot naturally for you. All right. Now, are there conditioners and certain treatments that you can use on ostrich leather that won't darken the leather? Like you're saying, you might uh, run into staining problems on say this rum brown, but you're not gonna run into a staining problem on a black ostrich. What? are the sort of treatment methods and conditioners you use so that the boot doesn't darken? Well, darkening is a tricky thing because no matter what you use as a conditioner, you're going to darken the boot. You're putting something on it that is adding saturation and color back to the boot. So you're just going to, you're going to be dealing with the darkening up a little bit. It'll lighten up over time. Don't worry. Your, your rum brown boots will be rum brown again. They'll just be a dark rum brown for a little bit. But like an all weather shield doesn't change the color at all. And that allows water to, to wipe off that pretty easily. Perfect. Do you have certain uh, products that you carry on cartersboots.com that you recommend? For conditioner, we love the Howards. It is by far the best conditioner that we use. It's strictly what we use on any of the cowboy boots that run through our store when we're conditioning them. Because we used to polish about 90% of the time and then we went and found this Howard stuff and it conditions it. But it's got beeswax, it's got, um, it's got all sorts of other stuff inside of it, which you can see that. That allows you to, it, bring back the color, preserve the leather. It's gonna it's gonna do much more. It will darken it, I will say that. It doesn't darken it that much, but it will darken it. Um, so this is our best stuff that we have found to date, and it's made by a wood furnishing company, actually. For waterproofing a boot, this all-weather shield is phenomenal. I've put it on all sorts of stuff from cowboy boots to my whites to even my Nike tennis shoes that I have. And I can, I've stuck my foot in the water and it came out completely dry. 
So I'm gonna have to get me some of that Cadillac all weather <laughs> waterproofing stuff. I want to do a video on that sometime so you guys can expect it. Maybe I'll try it out on these Anderson Bean Fulquill ostrich boots. Uh, it might be a little bit stressful, you know what I'm saying? But hey, it might be fun to try. And those are the six questions for the most part. Now we did have a couple of other questions uh, from you guys in this little sliver over here. A couple of them I looked at and I'm like, you know, I'm going to have to dedicate an entire video to that. That was the segment. Huge shout out to Garrett Carter for spending his time with me and uh, jumping on that call and letting me share his answers here on the stream. I hope you guys learned something. I certainly learned a lot. What's the biggest thing that you guys learned? Let me know down in the comments. Ostrich is tough. <laughs> Goes above and beyond to be enough for work and play. <laughs> Wear it every day. Huge thanks to Carter's Boots for helping us out with this video today. <laughs> oh man, gotta love that ostrich leather, right? <laughs>